Nematodes are one of the most abundant animal groups on Earth, with over 25,000 known species. Biologists estimate that the total number of nematode species may actually number over 1 million. They have evolved to fit into nearly every ecosystem possible. Different species have been found to thrive in marine, freshwater, and even terrestrial environments. They can be found in polar climates as well as tropical ones. 90% of all animals found on the ocean floor are nematodes, and they account for 80% of all individual organisms on Earth. To give a scope of their extreme density, researchers have found that they can exceed 1 million individual nematodes per square meter. A specific species of nematode is currently of great interest to many researchers. Cyanor habditis elegans is often used as a model system in many research endeavors and is the subject of the paper that will be discussed here. Dr. Askin Kokabis and his team have identified C. elegans as an important model system for studying the neural network in these types of organisms. Nematodes sense and locate food and other things in their environment through the use of chemotaxis and chemoattractive gradients. The researchers set out to uncover the neuronal network behind the use of chemotaxis and the locomotive signals that correspond with it. They hypothesized that if the correct interneuron pairs were identified, they would be able to stimulate different areas in order to control the locomotive dynamics of the organisms. C. elegans uses two types of movement to, batch, to track signals in the wild. They either use sharp or gradual turns, or backward movements called reversals. The three major sets of neurons discovered to control these movements have found to be the AIY, AIZ, and AIB interneurons. Chemosensory neurons synapse at these pairs, which cause a cascade of signals to send through the dense neural networks of the organism. To test the mechanism of the chemotaxis, nematodes were placed in a bacteria field with the th strongest signal perpendicular to the animal, as shown above. As seen in the figure, the nematode swung its head in dorsal and ventral motions. The side dorsal movements brought its head closest to the odor, while movements towards the ventral side brought it away from the odor. This is seen in figure E in the lower left. The nematode then responded to these signals by turning its whole body towards the signal odor and maintaining its movement in that direction, as is seen in figure A in the top corner. The researchers took careful measurements to track the exact movements of the nematodes in order to find out which neurons were specifically activated. The next step was for the researchers to modify the organisms to help them track signal movements with within the neural network. To do this, they worked with illuminating the specific neurons of interest as shown above. The CHR2 and ARCH genes were expressed in relation to the three neuron pairs of interest in the C elegans. Light activation of CHR2 and ARCH leads to the excitation and inhibition of the neurons respectively. By targeting CHR2 with light-gated ion channels, the researchers could observe the anatomical effects of an excited neuron, while targeting ARCH would show the effects of neuron inhibition. The system depicted in Figure A shows how light was emitted through, t through an array to specifically activate a single neuron band in the nematodes, while a second computer captured the illumination and movements. Researchers found that the AIY neuron pair was responsible for turning the head of the nematode and thus the locomotive movements in response to stimuli. Figure D showed that the excitation of the AIY pair caused the nematode to move its head towards the dorsal side while inhibition of AIY moved it towards the ventral side. By simply exciting and inhibiting a single neuron pair, they had full control of the movements of the specimen. Figure C shows the arrangement of the three neuron pairs of interest within the C elegans. This research is significant because it allows researchers to identify what parts of the neural network dynamics can drive the behavior in chemotaxis. Previous studies have only addressed these questions through surgical ablation and inhibition to show what dynamics are lost. These new methods allow for work on living organisms that are fully functional. Further studies involve mapping the neuronal networks by identifying the activity patterns. This may eventually lead researchers to be able to control the behaviors and movements of nematodes. Once that is done, the door is open to identify these key neuronal nodes in other organisms.